I took this image from the city with a color camera during the full moon. Now that might sound impossible, but I had some help. I was trying out the new Saboni 3 nanometer ultra narrow band duo band filter. And at 3 nanometers, this filter can cut through light pollution and moonlight like a hot knife through butter. Now this is not the first 3 nanometer duo band filter out there. The Optolong L Ultimate is one option, and another option is the Antlia 3 nanometer duo band. However, this filter is by far the lowest cost 3 nanometer dual band filter that you can find, especially when it's on sale. And Saboni does always have really good sales on their website, which can significantly bring down the price of the filter. And right now for Black Friday, they have a sale going on as well, which brings the price down to just $250 for the two inch version, which is far lower than any of the other competitors. But one of the downsides to cheaper filters is sometimes that they show halos on brighter stars. Now I did some detailed testing to see whether or not this filter would show any halos and here are my test results. So for my halo testing on bright stars I tested this filter with the Ascar FRA 300 60 millimeter refractor as well as the ASI 2600 MC duo camera. Now I chose three bright stars to test for halos, Capella at magnitude 0 which is one of the brightest stars in the sky, Elnath at magnitude 1.65 and Mahasim at magnitude 2.65. So looking at Capella, uh, I took a two minute exposure, so 120 seconds. And as you can see, despite being one of the brightest stars in the sky, there is almost no halo. If I squint, I can perhaps see the faintest hint of something there, but nothing really noticeable at all, uh, even on one of the brightest stars in the sky. So I would say it performed very well there. Then we go over to Elnath, which is magnitude 1.65. So still a very bright star no halo there and we go to Mahasim at magnitude 2.65 which is about the brightest star you're likely to encounter uh, in an area that has an actual target and again no issues with halos so I think the halo performance of this filter is one of the best I've seen for any narrowband filter and if we uh, look at um, the actual images that I took with this filter uh, this was the first one. This is the Veil Nebula with the 60 millimeter FRA 300 refractor. And as you can see, beautiful details in here, just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, even more considering this was taken with the almost full moon pretty close by. Uh, so just the sheer amount of detail I was able to capture with a color camera from the city is just, it's mind boggling. So this is definitely gonna be my favorite camera now for this kind of uh, uh, thing. And this is another image I took of the Sudder region. And this one has a very bright star here. Um, this is right next to Deneb. So a very bright, easy to see with the naked eye star. And this is a stacked exposure of several hours. And looking at that really bright star, I can just barely make out a halo on the outer area. And again, that is just excellent performance for such a bright star. That would not even be noticeable if I'm zoomed out like this. So definitely uh, one of the best performances I've seen in terms of halos for a bright star for a, a dual band filter. And in a regular star field, uh, like you're likely to encounter in this area of Cygnus with the North America Nebula and the Seagull Nebula, there are some fairly bright stars here, but absolutely no halos there. Uh, not even a hint, I would say, on any of these bright stars. And it did a phenomenal job there. And yep, no halos. And the only stars you're likely to encounter any real halos with uh, with this filter is something like the Horsehead Nebula. And I have really, really stretched this image very hard over here. And this is Alnitak, again, one of the brightest stars in the sky. And this is a very stretched image and you can just barely make out a halo out here. And then up to the left, there is another star in Orion's belt. So again, a, uh, a very bright star. So yeah, anything fainter than Alnitak, no issues at all. And Alnitak is of course uh, the bane of our existence when it comes to astrophotography because it's, it's located right next to a very nice target, the Horsehead Nebula, and it's a very, very bright star. But even then I wouldn't consider that objectionable at all. And uh, I also took this image of the elephant trunk, which also has several very bright stars in the field of view. But as you can see, no hint of a halo anywhere on either of those stars. So for a three nanometer dual band filter, that is phenomenal performance. 
and the competitors that uh, Saboni has uh, in this market for three nanometer dual band filters, there is of course the popular Optolong L Ultimate, which has been out for a while. Uh, which right now is on sale for $356 for the 2-inch version. There is the Antlia ALP-T dual band 3 nanometer filter, which right now is $390. And then there's the Savoni, which right now is on sale for $250 for the 2-inch version. Uh, so it is significantly cheaper, and Savoni does have sales fairly often for their filters and a lot of their equipment. So I would keep an eye out on their website. So you can uh, check out the link in the description of this video for the link to this sale. Um, so yeah, that is significantly cheaper than either of the other filters. And it also comes in a 1.25 inch version, which right now is on sale for only $119.99 uh, for a three nanometer version, which is uh, an excellent buy at this price. So I definitely recommend checking out the uh, links in the description of this video if you want to buy one of these filters. So as you saw from those images and those star tests that I did, this filter is a phenomenal performer, especially for the price on sale. And this will be my main color filter going forward. So for anybody else imaging from a city or who images during the moonlight with a color camera, I do think this filter is a phenomenal investment and it will bring your photography to the next level. And if you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching and clear skies.